this segment you'll learn how and when to build bracing at end and corner posts locations. You're now ready to build bracing at the end and corner posts locations. As a rule, any fence with six or more wires requires double bracing. Set the vertical brace post 42 inches deep. A single brace assembly works for fences of five wires or less. The horizontal brace post length affects the strength and holding ability of the entire brace assembly. Horizontal braces should be eight feet long. Using a tape measure or the horizontal brace as a guide, mark where you will drive the vertical brace post eight feet from the end post. With all vertical brace posts in place, the next step is to measure and drill the holes for the brace pins that will hold the horizontal braces in place. These braces are best placed between the top two fence wires. Brace pins are 3 8 inch diameter galvanized steel pins in both 5 inch and 10 inch lengths. To install, use a 3 8 inch diameter by 10 inch long drill bit. Drill into the end post approximately 2.5 inches. At the vertical brace post, drill completely through the post Next, pound the brace pin into the center of the horizontal brace post. Slide the horizontal brace post with the 5-inch brace pin into the hole on the end post. If necessary, trim it to fit snugly between the end and second vertical post. Pound the 10-inch brace pin through the second brace post and into the horizontal brace. Leave about 2 inches exposed on the far end for anchoring the brace wire. Or, if you're building a double brace, Leave the exposed pin to hang the second horizontal brace. Now that all posts are in position, it's time to install the brace wire that holds the brace together. First, drive a staple horizontally about 4 inches up from the ground on the outside of the end post. Next, lace the vertical brace post with high tensile wire in a double figure 8 pattern. Position the wire under the staple on the end post and on top of the exposed brace pin. Pull out as much slack as possible. Next, install an inline strainer in the upper half of the wire wrap. Use at least two crimping sleeves to attach the strainer. As you tension the wire, you'll notice the other strands pull around the posts so there is even pressure around all strands. For safety, trim wire close to crimping sleeves.